What's going on, peeps? It's Wrath here, hanging out today, playing some Idle Heroes. I want to thank you guys so much for coming out with me today. If you like the video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button to show your support. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe as well. All right, guys, we're here today to actually do our leveling, guys. I guess we won't be really playing Idle Heroes, but we'll be talking about it, so it's close enough. Any hoodles, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about what it takes to level up units from a wee baby five-star all the way up to the Grand Pappy E3 maxed out Super Daddy. Um, what do you need? Spirit, gold, promotion stones, and then we're also going to go into um, what you need copy-wise. So how many five-star heroes do you actually need? Stuff like that. So starting things out here with the, I guess, the beginner kind of slide here. This is for your your first out five-star unit from level 1 to 30, 30 to 40, 50 to 60, or all that stuff, you know what I'm saying. Getting it all the way to level 100, your first max five-star unit, what's it going to cost you? Um, remember, though, these numbers here are not a cumulative total. These right here are just the cost for that level bracket. So 1 to 30 is going to take 35,000 gold and almost 12,000 spirit. Um, 50 to 60 is going to take 181,000 and 111,000 uh, of the spirit. So they're not a cumulative total. We got cumulative totals a couple slides in the future. In the future, it's going to be a thing. But anyways, these are mainly meant for screenshotting purposes, just so you guys have those on hand if you need them. They're really handy. I like to have screenshots available if I need to like, just know something. Having those in your bank, not a bad deal. So pretty simple slide just for the new player right there. Go ahead and screenshot that if you need to. And we're going to go ahead and move on um, to the next slide, which is going to be obviously the, the higher level hero. So your max 5 star is now a 6 star. You got to go from 100 to 140, 140, 160, 160, 180, etc., etc., cetera, etc., cetera, all the way down to the 10 star level of 250. So what does it take for each level up? That's listed in the middle column there with the promotion stones at the very end. Again, these aren't cumulative totals. These are just the amounts for that level bracket. We'll get into totals here in the next one. Um, but yeah, gets kind of expensive down the closer you get to uh, 250. The price goes up quite a bit. It's actually kind of strange. Your 100 to 140 levels cost about the same as your 180 to 200. It's just because there's so many levels, I guess, going into that. But whatever. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and move to the next one here. And this is going to have your enabled costs from 250 to 260, 260 to 270, and 272 to 90. And also your cumulative costs on the bottom. Um, so the big thing to take away from level 1 to level 250 to take a, a baby 5 star all the way to a 10 star unit is going to cost you just about 90 million gold and 123 million spirit. Pretty hefty price tag. Um, to take that 10 star all the way to 290 is going to take another 60 million gold and 177 million spirit. So all together from level 1 to maxed out 290 E3 units going to run you just about 150 million uh, gold and 300 million spirits. So very, very expensive. Also going to set you back about almost 70,000 hero promotion stones. Um, but that's, again, that's level 1 all the way to E3 max. So there's not a lot of heroes you're going to be doing that for, especially not really fast. It takes a long time to build those. So actually the golden spirit requirements aren't that big of a deal because it takes so long to build these heroes. You have that loot already stashed away. With that done, with those out of the way, um, what we're going to get into now is like just the basic part of what it requires to make 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 star units. And then we'll actually go in and do the math for the total cumulative costs for 6, 7, 8, 9s, 10s, 11s, all that crap. So anyways, starting things out here, the simple stuff. Um, to make a 6 star unit, you can check them in the creation circle, whatever. I figured for the sake of being, I guess, getting it all right, we'll throw it all in here. What you're going to need is two copies of the same hero and then four random four, uh, 5 star units. Now, one of those units is going to be like a specific five-star food that's required for that hero's six-star deal. But for the sake of making this easy on myself, I'm just going to count it as four. Um, I'm not going to mess around with it being a special five-star for everybody to have. Not a big deal. Any hoodles, the main thing to take away from is it takes six five-star heroes to make a six-star. Okay, two of those are copies, four of those are foods. All right. When you go to make that hero 7-star, you've got to tack on 4 more 5-star units to get it to 7. A lot of people make that jump really early, and they shouldn't, especially with food units. I can't tell you how many times I've seen 7-star Balrogs and Dominators and Faceless, because it's an easy upgrade to do. Even though the hero's not good and you shouldn't be upgrading it, it's such a tempting little power, I guess, 
jump, it's not a big jump, that a lot of people take a bad hero to 7 star too fast, make sure you're not doing that. It's definitely not worth it. Um, leave your food at 6 stars early game. Only take your good hero 7 plus, the ones you actually plan to use. Anyways, with that said, moving down to the 8 star level, you're going to need your first 6 star food. I know it says shadow here on the deal, but that's just the only image I had. <laughs> so... It works. It's random. It's the six star for the faction you're building the eight star in. Um, but anyways, you need the six star food plus three other five foods. Then you can take it to nine. You're going to need another random uh, six star food, two copies, or not two copies, two random five stars, and one more copy. And then the last thing here, taking that nine star unit to ten, you need a random nine star unit. This can be from any faction. Um, a six star unit from the faction that you're building the ten star in, and two more copies of the unit. So... Little expensive, starting to get expensive here um, at this level. But we're gonna jump over here to the enable requirements. Bang! And this is gonna they're pretty much they're pretty simple. I mean, it's simple, but it's expensive. Um, so to go to E1, you've already got your 10 star unit. You have to throw in another random nine star, any faction, plus a copy of the unit you need. So that brings your total copy cost to uh, E1 a unit to six. And then to go to 12 star or E2, whatever you want to call it, another 9 star food is required and another copy. So that's 7 copies of the same hero to get yourself to E2 or 12 star. And the final jump here, the maxed out E3, Big Daddy, you're the best, requires a 10 star food. No copy required. So all in all, it takes 7 copies, but lots and lots and lots of food. Now... We got to get into the costs to make food. Now, I'm not talking about just like, you know, the, this is going to be the cumulative cost in copies it takes to actually make a food hero. So first up here is the nine star food requirements. Um, why would I make a whole slide dedicated to nine star units? Previously, before enables came out, I probably wouldn't have because there wasn't really a great need for it. But now that nine star food is required for enables uh, uh, to go to 11 and 12, plus you have another 10 star food to go to, uh, to E3. Nine star food is very, 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 it's, it's like the new six star food because you have to use a ton of six stars um, to make your 10 star units. Well, now that you have E3s, you need a lot of nine star units as well to, fo uh, to feed out to them. So let's get to the cost. So to make your six star unit, um, you obviously need your original five star copy that you're going to be making a nine star, an extra copy to get it to six. You're going to need that extra copy there and the four food five stars. So we already gone over this a little bit. It's obviously six total five star units to make your six star hero, whatever, for the sake of it being hundred percent accurate. I just threw it in there. Anyways, now you got to take that six star to a seven star. Okay. So that's going to be tacking on from your original six star. You got four new five, uh, five star foods that you got to throw in on top of that. That brings your total cost in fodder, um, six plus four to 10, eight of which are food, two of which are copies. So 10 five stars to make something seven star. Moving down to the eight star area, you take your original seven star unit, you add a food six star and three food fives. That's going to be 10 from your seven star, six for the six star food, three for the random food fives, and that's going to bring you to 19 total five star units to get something to eight stars. Then your last step of the journey to make a nine star unit, you take your original eight star unit, you add a six star food, two random fives, and a copy. That's going to be 19 for your original eight star, six for the six star food, two food fives, and the copy brings your total to 28 five star units. Um, for me, I really never like counting my copies in with the actual food. It's just how I look at it. I always look at the copies separate. So 25 five star food units and three copies um, to get something to nine star. Obviously, you need copies of units. Um, for the six star food, but whatever, that's not super important. Big takeaway, 28 total five stars required to make a nine star food. It's a decent amount of heroes and you're going to be making a butt lot of them. That brings us over to the last sheet here, which is going to be your 10 star food requirements and then your enabling food requirements along with your total amount of heroes required to get a unit to E3. So to make your 10 star, you're going to need your original 9 star, which we've already mathed out at 28 copies, or 28 not copies, that'd be freaking nuts, 28 total 5 star heroes, um, plus 2 copies, plus a 6 star food, and a random 9 star food. So you've got your 28 from your original 9, plus your 2 copies, plus the 6 from the 6 star food, plus 28 from your random 9 star, it's going to be a total of 64 5 star units 
to make a hero 10 stars. Now, five of those are copies, um, so if you want to set those aside, you can. That's how I usually do it. Um, but you only need 31 food in the faction that you're making the 10 star hero out of. You don't actually need you know, everything to come from the same faction because that random nine star can be from anywhere. So 31 food is required in the faction. That doesn't count your copies. Of course, the five extra copies obviously would be in the same faction. Um, and 28 food outside of the faction. But the big takeaway is it's 64 total five star heroes to make a 10 star unit. Now, now you're on the enable journey. You're going to 11, 12, 13. You're going for the top. You're being a hero. This is what you got to do. So for 11, you need your original 10 star hero that you have, of course, ready to be done. You're going to need a nine star food and a copy of your hero. So we already established that a 10 star unit takes 64 uh, five star units to build. Plus, you got 28 from your random nine star food and one copy, bringing your total to 93 total five star units, um, six of which will be copies. And again, only 31 food is required in the faction because the nine stars can come from anywhere. Not that it's important. The big takeaway, 93 five-star units. Boom. All right, moving down. If you're going to go to 12, same process. You've got your original 11 star. You're going to add the nine star food and the copy. We established that the 11 star takes 93 five stars. Add in your 28 plus your copy brings you to 122 five star units to make a 12 star hero. Um, seven of which are copies and only 115, <laughs> only 115 are actually food five stars. <laughs> That's a lot of heroes, but trust me guys, this is the end game. So don't worry about it. Lastly, you're going for the big grand pappy, the E3, the monster, the beast itself. You got you have uh, your original 12 star unit and a 10 star food. No copy required to go to E3. It just takes a 10 star, which, as we established before, is going to be 64 uh, five star heroes in total. 122 from the 12 star, bringing your total number of five star units to 186 to make a unit E3. It's a huge amount of heroes, and that's definitely not a lie. But it's not as bad as it sounds, to be honest, because it's not like your hero's not usable all the way till E3. You're going to be using those heroes the entire time you play the game. So when you have that 8-star Vesa, you're going to be using that 8-star Vesa. It's not like she's on, on hold till E3, you know, just stick her in the bag. No, you're using her. Um, so, you know, when she's 9, when she's 10, all those slow baby steps you take on official servers to get here, it's not like the game just doesn't start until E3. E3 is the end of the game. So it does take a huge amount of heroes to get there. Seven copies in total, 179 food five stars for a total of 186. But that is everything you need to know to level up heroes. It's not going to include like the, the stone costs and all that stuff. I haven't messed with that. I might do a guide on that, but there's, I think there's guides out there already for that. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure there is. But anyways... That was the complete and total guide to what you need to level up heroes from baby five stars all the way to max E3, everything you need to know. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button to show your support if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe as well and tell your friends about it because that definitely helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one.